Exponents and radicals. Question 2. Simplify. So we have square root of 40, square root of 150, and square root of 800. Okay. So let's try to do them one by one. Square root of 40 can be written as square root of 4 times 10. And 4 is a perfect square, you know. 4 is a square of 2, right? Or let me go one more step. 2 times 2 times 10. So which gives me one of the 2's can be taken out and I get 10 over in the square root, right? Okay. Now square root of 150 can be written as 150. So you can divide this by 25. So we have 25 times 6. So you know 25 times 4 is 100 and 50 is 2 more, right? So, we get 25 times 6. So, this could be written as 5 times 5. Let me split 6 also to show you 2 times 3 is 6. So, that is kind of prime factorization, right? Now, 5 repeats. So, we can factor out one of the 5s. But we can't factor out anything else. So, we'll write them as such as 5 square root 6, okay? So, that is square root of 150. Now, how about square root of 800? Now, 8 times 100 we can write, correct? So, we can write 8 times 100. Now, 8 could be written as 2 times 4, right? 2 times 4 and 100 can be written as 10 times 10. Now, we got 4 as a perfect square and instead of 4, I can take away 2, right? Because 4 is 2 square. So, I can write 2 here and I can factor out one of the 10s. Okay. So, I will factor out 2 and 10 and I'll leave 1, 2 here. So I've got 20 square root of 2. Okay, so that is how we can factor them. Or that that is how, so that is how we do square simply. So this is the process to simplify square roots, okay? So 800 can be written as 20 square root of 2.